Hi everyone, today I want to show you the newest feature of our Luxone app, the so-called ambient mode. Think of the new ambient mode as a kind of home screen for the Luxone app, which is now available for tablets, the macOS app, Windows app, and web interface. With the new ambient mode, you always have an overview of all the important information about your building automated with Luxone. But before I go into more detail on the new feature, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any hot news in the future. First, let's talk about what you have to do to be able to use the new ambient mode in the Luxone app. You really only have to update your Luxone app to use the new feature. It's not necessary to update your mini server. So just go update the app and there you go. First, select the room where your tablet is located. In my case, it is my office and you can see that the new ambient mode opens immediately. On the left hand side, you can see the weather, the time and the current date. By default, all components of the previously selected room and the new energy flow monitor are located below this if the latter is present in your configuration. Of course, all of this can be also customized, but more on that later. On the right side of the ambient mode, you have the option to quickly navigate through the Luxone app without exiting the ambient mode. The default screen can of course also be chosen individually. In my case, I chose the audio player in my office. If you now select a function block, it opens on the right hand side of the screen. Technically, I can now navigate through the Luxone app as usual. Now let's take a look at how to customize the ambient mode. With the settings icon, you can first select whether the app should always be started in ambient mode or not. Next, you can decide after how many minutes the ambient mode will be reactivated. Here you can define the default screen. Here is the audio player, as I mentioned. You can choose between predefined backgrounds or your own background images. Last, but certainly not least, we come to the screensaver settings. You can define when the screensaver is activated, either at a fixed time or, for example, after one minute, or, as in my case, after the end of presence, which I think is extremely smart. And here I can select the corresponding attendance function block. In the display, I can choose whether the date, time, and weather forecast should be displayed or whether the screen should be completely dark. Since the ambient mode is linked to presence in my case, I opt for dim the screen. As long as we're in the settings, the function blocks that appear on the left-hand side can also be customized. You can remove a function block via the small red icon. You can also select new function blocks via the add button. And of course, the function blocks can also be moved by a drag and drop. Let's go back to the ambient mode home screen and take a look at the buttons in the top right corner. The screensaver can be activated manually using the first button. For example, if you are starting a movie night, you obviously don't want to be disturbed by the tablet on the wall. A click on the button is enough. The next button opens the system status of the Luxone app, where you have an overview of all system relevant events. And at the bottom right is the button that takes you back to the ambient mode home screen. With the X, you can leave the ambient mode and get to the usual Luxone app interface. So this was an overview of the latest feature of a Luxone app. The ambient mode is a real eye catcher and thanks to the option to customize it, it is currently my absolute favorite feature. Have fun discovering it. So thank you for tuning in and I hope to see you real soon.